Hello and welcome to Allendorf, Germany. This is the Cartago showroom. This is a vehicle which was released in August of 2022. So it's the time of me filming this. It's only been available to order for three weeks. It's the uh, Cartago C Tourer 143 LE, as you can see, semi integrated Mercedes vehicle and this will cost 101,000 euros or at least it will once you put some fuel in it so at starting price 83,650 no one ever pays that the starting price uh, so base is a mercedes-benz sprinter it's an alcor 1414 cvi frame uh, you can put it on three and a half to four and a half tons Empty weight, 2,810. So you've got 690 kilos of payload. This one won't have because it's got extras and the extras will all weigh things, uh, weigh something. Seven or six centimeters long, 227 wide, 294.5 in height. Uh, it's got 150 liters of fresh water in the tank. Waste tank can hold 140. It comes with an 80 ampere hour gel battery. You'd want to change that for a living one in my opinion unless of course you just intend to go to campsites and in which case you might even need uh, the lithium battery the gel battery will be sufficient but uh, if you're going to spend all this money on the van i would suggest you opted for a lithium approach in my opinion it depends what you're going to do with it right so we've got this german layout down here and i'm going to take this off here because this is the it laid out fully but i'll push this to one side and now i'm going to take this push it back so you see you saw you got the steps up and you saw the amount of space uh, you had in the bed possibly <laughs> hope i filmed that properly and in here we've got storage which i can now demonstrate as well from up here you can get in like that huge amount of storage down there light comes on when you open and when you close it light goes off and on the other side we have the same feature so you've got a huge amount of storage there and this is possible of course thanks to the double floor raising everything up let's put this back down again and note the uh, storage all the way around i shall close this again and now I'll get up into the bed. I think it is a little bit on the steep side, you know. I mean, it's not it's not difficult to use. It's far easier than using a ladder, but it is a little steep. And there's a view down the vehicle. Now, why is it steep? Because if there's going to be trouble opening, for example, the doors if it if it wasn't so steep, and you might need to get into the toilet at night. Uh, it happens when you get older, it becomes more of a problem. So you've got a clear line of sight down there, I think, quite nice. And uh, I do appreciate having uh, the front storage rather than another bed. Of course, this is a semi-integrated van and you do not get beds over the cockpit in semi-integrated vans. You get them over the uh, table. Now, the reason I'm doing this, I want to show you this. There's the television. Now, so I'm in back in bed now, and that's how I'm going to watch the television. So, if I need to use the toilet, I'll have to duck my head, of course. But I think that's quite a good option. Now, if you're watching the television, you might uh, want to sit up in bed. And can you do that? Well, you've got this above your head, but you stuck a couple of pillows. It mightn't be too much of a problem another thing i'd like to point out note how this is sloped and so that should mean may mean that everything doesn't fall out when you open the uh, door to it this on the other hand it's got no door and i can't see the point of that i think it'd been better with some kind of a net and uh, or or even continue that right to the corner and that would have given more space in here of course the door couldn't go any further than that because these two would then 
it'd be too close you see but you see there's still a space in nonetheless <coughs> sorry here we have this very large washroom and it holds onto a magnet up there you know and there we have this wonderful amount of space in here in my opinion and there's me in the shower one thing though is this as i close the door and i'm in here there's not a huge amount of space for the toilet of course if you've got the duckboard down and uh, you can keep your feet down there another feature of this this wonderful molded sink well, I think it's wonderful, I like that. I think the, the mirror above all is great. And there, we've got this skylight up there. Fridge, which opens both ways. And kitchen, three burners, large sink, cutting board, which also acts as a sink cover. Here's the Cartago coffee option. And in here, there's also storage. Show much storage is up here. Now, uh, one thing, the Cartago, has now is this door it's upgraded it's stock of doors to be doing a door double locking uh it'll central lock with the driver's door as well but not with the outer outer flaps but you can now get a a feature where the uh in some of the um the more expensive vans uh, you can get a feature where the central locking for all the flaps as well and notice the hooks which I, i've never noticed before they must have just come out good what about then we've got a nice big skylight up there and here we have television number two this is the big this is this is the big screen one there we go yeah, so have a look at this from the passenger side. So you can sit here and watch the, on the big screen. Comes with, so it comes with two televisions, if that's what you want. I was just thinking, how about that if that were a computer screen? But no, it's, it's not really suited for a computer screen because it's too high. Note also the, um, the the shape of the kitchen. There's no sharp edges anywhere, which is a very good feature. And right, so uh, another thing I want to show is this floor. Look how it's flat from the all the way back. And let's have a look at some what's down here in the floor, in the double floor. Down there, you've got your water tanks. Here you have space, there, storage, and the creme de la creme is down here. And this is, I think, quite outstanding. Yeah, huge amount of space. And throughout its range, it's got space like this. Uh, there's your water release, that's that blue, uh, blue and black thing over there. And uh, that's a very nice van. Storage. Uh, here, huge garage. It could do, of course, with a uh, same size door on the other side, which it hasn't got. And now I'll show you. 
a different vehicle, which is this one. C Tora 148 LEH. So, as I said, it's on a Fiat or on a Mercedes, but the storage is more or less the same in both. This thing here cost 97,390, 746 by 227 by 289. All right, so you got the storage up there. This is one has this bed up here which is an option as incidentally is Aldi heating and got this German layout at the back here and washroom uh, it, the price there isn't much of a price difference in the Fiat and the Mercedes in this case, but you've got to compare like to like, and it's got to have the same equipment levels. And if it doesn't have the same equipment levels, then it's not a proper comparison. So, I mean, for a Mercedes, you know me looking around 15, maybe even 20,000 more. Depends, I mean, it's very difficult to say. Anyway, so good. There you have it. Uh, Cartago C Tora 143LE on a mercedes sprinter and so thanks for watching this is me in allendorf germany and signing out and thanks for watching